आदरणीय दर्शक यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत करना चाहूँ म प्रस्तोता संदीप कुमार श्रेष्ठ हमी क्रिस्टल विशेष में सौरा में छो यो सौरा बा हमी असो सत्ताईस रट्ठाइस गते दुई दिन एशियन अस्ट्रेलियन रेपाल का संपूर्ण न्यूरो सर्जन को गोष्ठी रहे ये गोष्ठी में मूलत न्यूरो सर्जरी अर्थात न्यूरो ट्रमा अंतर्गत स्पाइन र हेड इंजुरी बड़ी फोकस कर गोष्ठी में विभिन्न देश को न्यूरो सर्जरी को अवस्था के बिरामी को प्रभावित अवस्था के ये सब विषय वस्तु प्रस्तुत करने कार्यक्रम रहे रसंग ये बेला हो यो प्रोग्राम को नेपाल में कोडिनेटर के रूप में भूमिका खेलने भैर तेगरी नेप्लिज सोसाइटी अफ न्यूरो सर्जन को महासचिव हो न्यूरो सर्जन डॉक्टर बालकृष्ण था प्रोग्राम को उद्देश्य को बारे में संक्षिप्त कुरा मैं प्रयास कर स्वागत है धन्यवाद साम काम कर अस्ट्रेलियन तस्तरी एशियन न्यूरो सर्जन तो सोसाइटी का मेम्बर यहाँ आगे को लगभग नब्बे प्रतिशत न्यूरो सर्जन चितवन में होती बेला तब सौरा को होटल पाराडाइज में गई रहने इसको ठैक्क उद्देश्य के मुख्य कर खास कर हेड इंजुरी रपाइनल इंजुरी ये समग्र हम न्यूरो ट्रमा भी भाई पेरिफिर नफ इंजुरी सहित यो ट्रमा को स्थिति हम को अवस्था कस्त विदेश में खासगरी एशिया का अरुण देश रस्ट्रेलिया में इसको स्थिति के विश्व का अरुण देश में इसको स्थिति के भाई बारे में सब को बीच में जानकारी करने कराने एक दुई यी ठावर में विश्व में इसको खासगरी न्यूरो ट्रमा को हेड इंजुरी स्पाइनल इंजुरी को बारे में निदान तथा तेको उपचार का क्रम में भैया नया रईर विस का कुछ के कस्ता सेस को बारे में सब जानकारी कराने रेसरो नंबर में यी देश एक्सपर्ट्स को बीच में आप्ना अनुभूति आप्ना अनुभवर रूले जाने का कुछ बीच में आप्ना सोचाई आप्ना विचार आप्ना अनुभव आदान प्रदान करने योग कार्यक्रम को मुख्य उद्देश्य होने जो दर्शा यहाँ पेलपटक ने यह प्रोग्राम अर्गनाइज करते हुए इसको आयोजक में कोडिनेसन कर विगत का वर्ष में यहां महत्वपूर्ण विषय में यहाँ को ध्यान क्या पुगेन रो वर्ष अज ने में उद्देश्य के खास कर कार्यक्रम हमें धे पेदी करूर्ने हो इसी विदेशी को अनुभव लाम अनुभव विदेशी समक्ष पुर्यावने कार्यक्रम वास्तव में हमें धेरे पेदी करूर्ने हो करने योजना भी करें यह कार्यक्रम भी दुई वर्ष अगड़ी हमें योजना कर दक्षिण कोरिया को सिउल में तर भूकंप को कारण हमें वास्तव में अज इस विस्तृत रूप में कर सकेन हमें हमारा व्यवस्थ व्यवस्थापन का कई कठिनाई रहे हम चाहना के होने हमें यह भाग अगड़ी भी करने कोशिश नगर को होने कर हम देश को सीचुएसन री कुछ का कारण गोष्ठी में अस्ट्रेलिया में एशियन कंट्री में कसरी भाषा भाई कुछ वहाँ रिप्रेजेंटेशन में यहाँ दिखा नेपाल के बारे में यहाँ टेक्नोलॉजी मेन पावर तो ट्रेनिंग के हिसाब से हम क्या छो भाई कुछ ठेक्क आऊ गोष्ठी के सीख रही बिरामी न्यूरो सर्जरी में जो आज को विषय है यहाँ भोलि को विषय में जो प्रस्तुत कर कार्यशाला गोष्ठी में बिरामी के पाँच हो यही नहीं सब भाग महत्वपूर्ण तो योग खास न्यूरो सर्जन्स को लगी भाई उ भोलि गए बिरामी को सेवा में नयापन के दिन सकता भाई कुछ इसको महत्वपूर्ण कुछ हो यहाँ भैया जी टेक्नोलॉजी तिहर को अरुले कसरी प्रयोग करद एक यहाँ नभगा टेक्नोलॉजी जो विदेश में सं तिहर हमीसंग के रही तिहर बिना तो लेवल को उपचार हमें दिया छो कि छेन सकता कि सकते यदि सकता छेन तेल हम परिप्रेक्ष्य में कसरी ढालने भाई चैलेंज हम होने तो बारे में हमी सीक्ने दोसों से हमी बा जोसंग टेक्नोलॉजी सब टेक्नोलॉजी छेन विदेश में जो तो कसरी कर रहे उ हमीसंग सीखने बहादुर चिन्ह न्यूरो सर्जन बहादुर के हिसाब से जान सकता बहादुर ही जो अर्थ में बहादुर भेसरी न भन तर समीन स्थिति में समकालीन रूप में टेक्नोलॉजी को डेफिशिएंसी होना हो टेक्नोलॉजी ना होनी हमी कसरी एट पार गई रहे भाई कुछ को प्रत्यावृति कराने कोशिश कर स्मरण कराँच विगत ल छोटो सन्देश अंतिम अब यो कार्यक्रम हि रहने दर्शक महानुभाव में मेरे अनुरोध के होने हमी हमीसंग जी सेवा सुविधा तेज को मैक्सिम प्रयोग कर अधिकतम उपयोग करें विदेशी को स्तर में जहाँ यहाँ भाग धेरे हेवीली लोडेड सफिस्टिकेटेड इक्विपमेंट्स तिहर को अभाव में 
त्यो स्तरको सेवा हामीले कसरी प्रदान गरिरहेका छौं भन्ने कुराको यहाँहरुले यो कार्यक्रमबाट चाहिँ अनुभव गरिदिनुहोस् र त्यसपछि यहाँहरुले हामीलाई चाहिँ नि समालोचना गरिदिनुहोस् त्यही नै अनुभव छ धन्यवाद धन्यवाद सफल पार्नु तपाईलाई पनि धेरै धेरै As of today, the neurosurgery is the most developed and most sophisticated branch of medical sciences. This is the most heavily loaded with the so-called sophisticated developments including CT scan and MRI to name some. To have a neurosurgery in any hospital in abroad is a matter of pride and privilege. The highest earning branch of medical science in any developed country is neurosurgery. The only drawback of neurosurgery is its setup which is very costly and the technique which is delicate and different and the training which is very long compared to other branches. The time, patience and zero error principle are all very much relevant to neurosurgery more than any other branches. Microscope, micro instruments and fineness all are more if not most important aspects of neurosurgery. There are several branches of neurosurgery, neurotrauma, vascular, neuro-oncology, functional, pediatric, endovascular, and radio surgery to name some. Head injury to be more specific, traumatic brain injury is synonymous to neurosurgery in underdeveloped countries like ours. It's most of medical fraternity and the common people think this is the only job of the neurosurgeon. Traumatic brain injury and advanced life support are very related and relevant subjects yet to well developed in this country, more so in the periphery of Nepal. In this connection, periphery is not a distance from the capital, it's the concept and the status of the unprepared management. Periphery can be within the dream of a capital or a big city. There has been a lot of developments in the diagnosis and treatment of head injury in general over the years, but as it is said, it is easy to sow the seed, more difficult is to feed the needy, how many of our patients are benefited with these developments is the main point of discussion of this workshop. Time, task and team all are important and fundamental for the benefit of the patients, more so for needy patients. As said, the tree with the greatest number of fruits always goes down, the wisest and the most intelligent people are more sober, gentle and simple as our faculties are. They are the ones who never bark on what they know about, did about, but remain quiet about what they did and people on what is yet to do to benefit the needy people rather than himself or ourselves. Neurotrauma at point is at one point is very important topic, whereas at the other end, it is experts are the ones who can explain their ten years work and experience in ten minutes and if need their time and effort deserve more than what we have provided. That slowed down our efforts almost to the extent of not holding it this year. Many people are to be up. We remain positive, but we missed a lot of people from home and abroad to mistakes and weaknesses. All of them are mine, and I apologize for that. From home and abroad appear here today and are appearing in the wild. It's very, very system. We have registration system for the fixation with a very small amount. The program is starting to more important than this, but you prefer to be here. Which To Mr. Dr. Balakrishnan Papa, uh, I remember the one thing which he said me before that in a seminar he he, he said that uh, I tell at the last of my presentation he said that uh, this is this presentation uh, is for those who have the heart and mind together. I am very much impressed uh, by this sentence of Mr. Thapa. 
that's why uh, in this seminar also workshop also i think uh, it will be very much uh, fruitful to make the heart and mind together and uh, that makes all the trauma already i think and thank you for this workshop
safe to the scientific system very soon. Dr. Pant, please. This program, um, Dr. Peter, uh, Dr. Thapa, and other guests, and um, guests from different countries. First of all, I would like to thank um, all of you who have decided to come to Nepal, despite uh, having a lot of trouble. Uh, Peter was quite, you know, quite anxious whether this is the right time to come to Nepal or not. And um, as a president, I also had a little bit of difficulty answering to your question when I met you in Italy. But um, uh, they have come here together with madams, and uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, this meeting is going to be important because it's going to share information that we have and um, uh, the information that the experts who have been working on neurotrauma for quite some time. So uh, I have raised my, my, I started my neurosurgical career from Bir Hospital where there was only one neurosurgeon before me in the whole country. And uh, two days was covered by neurosurgeons and five days was covered by general surgeons. So that's how we were dealing with head injury cases. And uh, all of the epidural, subdural hematomas were dealt by general surgeons at that time. And um, when the number of people started coming in, then we decided that, okay, neurosurgery should take up head injury, you know, altogether. And um, I'll be talking in detail about this. But when I went to my training in advanced countries, like I got my training in Japan, they said, why are you doing neurosurgery? Nepal needs more important things in health. Like you need, you have more diarrheal disease there. You have more respiratory tract infection in children. So that should be your priority. I mean, you are wasting your time trying to become a neurosurgeon in a country where people not, will not be able to afford um, neurosurgical services. And um, you will be surprised that there are still a neurosurgeons, not general surgeons, but neurosurgeons who believe uh, what I have just said, that neurosurgery is not needed or essential in a country like ours. Especially neurosurgeons who have come here as a volunteer, worked here for some time, and they go, have gone back and um, said that. But I have been saying that in neurosurgery also, you have got primary neurosurgical care. So you, you cannot see a five years old child die of a simple epidural hematoma in Chitwan today. It is a simple surgery. If you train somebody, they can do it in six months. So, you know, it is, it is just sheer stupidity to say that, you know, you should not start neurosurgery unless you are finished with respiratory tract infection or diarrhea or whatever. So, you know, uh, within this time, a lot of people have uh, uh, come and joined neurosurgery. And uh, Chitok is the first place where you had the first neurosurgery outside Kathmandu, and fortunately there was uh, um, Bhavkis Nathapa, and I had a, I have fortunate enough you know, to have some time together with him to train him in a, uh, some way, and he is the one who raised and said, okay, I'm going to go to Chitwan and start in the neurosurgery outside Kathmandu, which was, you know, it looks similar, simple now, but when you think when he came here, it was it was a you know big decision in itself. So now um, I thank Dr. Thapa for you know bringing the team together from uh, AANS to Nepal and uh, share this information. So we are going to have a lot of academic interaction, but we are also going to have a lot of social interactions, so that our young people will learn a lot of things from you, and uh, you will also take home. Uh, many good things. I have shared that once you come to Nepal, you will be infected with a virus called Nepal virus. And then once you are infected with Nepal virus, you keep on coming to Nepal again and again. So I hope and wish that you will come again and again. And I'd like to thank uh, our chief guest for, you know, coming to our program uh, despite his busy schedule. And uh, I can see that our colleagues from Kathmandu is joining here. Uh, welcome. So let's start the real program. Thank you very much.
to enable a moment to, to our chief guest. And I request Dipendra Karel to assist on this. With this, with this I would like to conclude this session, inauguration session. We have a cup of tea in the back of the house. आदरणीय दर्शक गुरु यो गोष्ठी को विषय वस्तुला है मिले यहाँ उर्माज प्रस्तुत भी रखे का सो फरक फरक दर्शन पुरस्कार इतिबला मौसम का उन्होंने सा नेपलीज सोसाइटी ऑफ न्यूरो सर्जन का प्रेसिडेंट उन्होंने सा नेशनल नहीं बनता इसलाय डॉक्टर बसंत अपॉन्ट उन्होंने सा नेपाल को न्यूरो सर्जन इलाई यहाँ सम्मान लेवन वहाँ को धेरी कंट्रीब्यूशन सा। अमित वहाँ संगा योगोस्टी के बारे में और नेपाल को सर्जरी न्यूरो सर्जरी के बारे में थोड़ी कुरा करनी जोड़ने प्रयास में जो डेढ़ साल वेलकम। आराम से। सीधे बिशेष बस्तु सर। यहाँ वो लेजुन किसी को दो दिन को कार्यशाला गोस्टी प अब इस पाली को मीटिंग माने को जैसे न्यूरोट्रॉमा मान जो ठाउ को में लागने चोट स्पाइनल कॉर्ड में लागने चोट तो भी सेम है वो और यो जैसे नेपाल में एक तो मैं बढ़ते गए रहा था जो तीस जैसे गाड़ी आरु बढ़ते शन जो तीस भेजकर सारे बढ़ते शन कितने हेड इंजीनियर आरु हमने तेरे तेरी रहा कॉन्फ्रेंस में भाग लेने संभव नहीं होता है ना तो ये बारे जो इस हाल को गोष्टी आ रहे हैं गर्नु पढ़ने वाले जो तेल ले जाएं नया नया चीज़ आ रही है भाई राज्य विश्व में बनने को रहने था जिस तरह से भी यहाँ वाली अजो ये डा नेपाल में ही पहले पड़ा हो निवृत्त सर्जन आ रहे हैं स्पाइनल Pilih CME ke konsep mana awal tu? Especially neuro trauma lah, menteri fokus kerja pilih pelajaran baru macam tu. Ia kisah ke konsep pilih kini ane bersama. Pilih itu boleh rasa. Orang meeting macam tu, neuro trauma ke seks seks mana tu boleh ni alat. Tapi awal itu grup macam tu, bisnes kerja macam tu, ANS macam tu, Asian Australasian. Jadi sama apa ni awal tu semua. अब देश में जैसे विभिन्न और सीनियर नेपाल के सीनियर डॉक्टर आ रहे हैं और अभी देश के सीनियर डॉक्टर और बहुत सारे जैसे आप इस समय भागा अनुभव वाले साल पर करने रहे तेल जैसे यंग जेनरेशन लाइफ दीने पड़ने हर वजह खाली न्यूरो ट्रॉमा लाइन में फोकस करो पड़ने और यो कार्यों ने वंदा नेपाल को न्यूरोसर्जरी को इतिहास है ता खेरे जैन 64 में सब अंदर पहला ऑपरेशन बाको नेपाल में ब्रेन को र तेरे ठुलो गैप थियो र नेपाल को न्यूरोसर्जरी से 1990s को एन तेरा बाढ़ जाए और सादे छीटे से बॉडी को सा र मो आपे फर्क रहा हूँ ना खेरे जैन दो तीन जाना मात्र न्यूरोसर्� र न्यूरोसर्जन मात्रा है ना न्यूरोसर्जरी को सेंटर और बनी बोर्ड देशन जून में आये मैं इले मेरा स्लाइड्स और मैंने प्रस्तुत करा सो तेरे को देखेंगे जो असाध्य राइजिंग साइंस को रूप में चाहे मैंने लिया था और नेपाल को न्यूरोसर्जरी जो रामरो बन चाह अन्य के रामरो खाल को काम रूप अब और वो बंदा अगाड़ी बनना से मौका बनना चाहना कि ने बोले और वो बंदा अगाड़ी पसारी बात अपनी वर्ल्ड को स्टैंडर्ड को काम हो रहा है मिलने वाला तेरे कर रहा है सो यो कठोर नू बाहर बन जस्तो विराट नगर चितवन को पुरागर निभन विराटगढ़ी साइड पचुलिशन में पोखरा स्टेट न अब सब बंदा पहले कठोर नू बाहर चीतों में शुरू बाग वो बालगीस ने ले शुरू कराया होती हो डॉक्टर बालगीस ने ले और तेज़ वज़ह रख पोखरा में बिराट ना झापा नेपाल कांस यो पूरे हाँ और में जैसे आउटलेशन रह चीते ही नहीं ये वाला सीजीस कैन आए हुए नहीं त्यों ठाउ में जैसे वाला न्यूरोसाल दोनों का रोबस नहीं मानें हाँ वो परिपाटी देखी रहा है सामने लेने रह नेवली सोसाइटी ले पनी रह माफ़ ही पनी मैं ले तेरे मैं जैसे ट्रेन करी सके ऐसा नेपाल चौ जस्तो नेपाल को 35 जाना निवृत्त साधन होले, 
अब पेशेंट डॉक्टर रेसि को हिसाब से हेने हो एकदम कम छी इमर्जेन्सी अपरेशन मत कर सत्तरी जान निर्मी सब चाहिए खाली इमर्जेन्सी मत तर अब एक चोटी हत्ते बढ़ो देश ने भी धा सकते न्यूरो सर्जरी को स्किल एक ही रात में आने होना पांच छ सात वर्ष जी ट्रेनिंग कर सके बल्लो तिहर चाहे काम करना सकने होने टेक्स टाइम It can be seen that in around about 1970, in the mid 1970s, there was a, a discontinuity between what had been a close relationship between road deaths and increasing on the whole. And this is so in the Fed in Europe, in America, the UK, and other countries that have uh, acquired a relationship with transport, which has meant that there has been a fall. such as engineering of roads and, uh, uh, and of uh, vehicles, but those have been very important factors and this is a somewhat... Uh, there it is, the brand testing and all the offenses have been produced in Victoria for late uh, rate. The relationship between speed and alcohol is well known in this graph from uh, studies in our bay uh, some years ago underpins the reason why uh, breath alcohol blood alcohol levels uh, set at 0.5 in, uh, or 0.8 in different states and hence the argument for low speed limits. The relationship between these prevention strategies and legislation is important and it has been found many times that to introduce a new uh, behaviour which is required of the, uh, of the, of the person to, to undertake that behaviour, i.e. wear a seatbelt or wear a helmet, that firstly it the, the case needs to be argued, that there needs to be uh, public awareness, there needs to be explanation as to why legislation, law is introduced and a, a law which is actually enforced, that, uh, that there is a significant uptake in these prevention uh, uh, mechanisms, such as so in, uh, in a number of uh, patients taken support from uh, China, from Taiwan, and in uh, Adelaide and in Italy, the same sort of uh, conclusion has been drawn that community uh, awareness needs to be supported by effective legislation. The, so many countries are making progress, but road traffic deaths remain unacceptably high, and this is from the previous so to the left of the slide are those from low and middle income countries, whereas in high income countries there is an increasing fall in the, the traffic related deaths, about 7% per year. So the main messages from that review was that there is particularly in the developing world there are pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists. And just briefly, what happens once the person reaches hospital, pedestrians, uh, uh, and it's interesting to know that we've been known for 30 years, there have been no real change. But in about 1970, there was quite a significant increase that has not been improved for a decade or at least this related to the practice of active development in the immune system of the seven months. But in fact, the mortality of patients who have reached hospital has changed very much over that time. Since that time, so that that by guidelines, but we have not had a major impact by the four decades in Scotland reported earlier this year. I just shows the fall of the mention of the October in the mid 70s and then are in plateau uh, in the uh, since that time. And again, it uh, indicates the, the rising uh, importance of fall. Older, po older, older population, older part of the population, which is an increasing component of the population in all countries in the world, developing and uh, developed countries. And so, this is a challenge.
symptoms, less than 50% were employed, and for those that are looking for problems present for two years, are still there at 10 years. And uh, so in summary, the incidence and causes of TBI varies widely between and within countries. Prevention is effective, but it must affect prevention strategies or have an impact on medical services. And there is a need by having a clear understanding of the, of the causes of uh, TBI in, uh, in your own population uh, to be able to chart the proper management strategies and to keep a, an eye on the trends, the changes which might be occurring. Thank you. The second speaker is I don't need to introduce the point of this understanding and serial trial on the bottom of the in the hospital. Yeah, and I'm not, I don't have a lot of data in my slides because you know, in Kathmandu, in the hospital, initially by the Gombo and uh, mainly by Professor Devkota, who is uh, fortunately in, uh, in the audience today. And then Neurosurgery the Center that went out of Kathmandu was actually in this region the one and, uh, and Dr. Tata took that responsibility. But he was, uh, he took the responsibility in a, a tumor center, it's a brain tumor institute, so he was actually not allowed to operate on head injury. And, um, he, he, and I could realize his pain of you know, seeing the head injury cases coming to him but not being able to operate. Because he was not illegally uh, permitted to do that. And uh, then we had uh, programs in Pokhara and Biratnagar and Nepal Guns and then a few more places. So this is how the neurosurgical services is scattered in the country now. As you can see, it's mostly on the southern area of Nepal. And the northern area is not very well covered. And uh, these green spots are the CT scans that is scattered in Nepal. You know. And um, uh, one CT scan, uh, uh, you can't think of having a ventilator there. So, and there are no paramedics. So this way, you know, it's just like a white, you know, painted, you know, truck or bus or whatever you call it, which is transporting a patient, that's it. So, uh, but recently there has been some changes and we have one zero two as a code, telephone code, and uh, there are, you know, different uh, a lot of, especially in Kathmandu, we have this. This is equipped even with monitors and with paramedics. And uh, there are and helicopter rescue is also becoming common in our country now. And surprisingly, many people are being helicopter rescued, which is you know um, pretty fast, I would say. But still, they, we do not have a dedicated helicopter to rescue with oxygen or ventilation. So it's again, or uh, you know, the same uh, thing. So while being transported on a you know, vehicle, 14 hours on, a, on an ambulance and when they reach, you give them oxygen, you perfuse them, and then two hours they die. I mean, I'm sure many of us in this room has witnessed that, and this is a well-known mechanism which is called reperfusion injury. So these patients who come without oxygen from a long distance need to be resuscitated very, very slowly, and prepared will be in a minor hypothermia. Now, talking about the recent trends, uh, uh, about intracranial prayers of monitoring and traumatic brain injury, you know, they have randomized on two, one is uh, uh, intracranial monitoring group and another is um, intracranial without, you know, just by clinical examination whether the patient is deteriorating or not. And they see that there is not, uh, there is no significant difference between these two. So these are on severe, of course, on severe head injury. And there is a comparison between hypothermia and normothermia. Hypothermia is a you know, treatment modality in severe head injury. And then they, they did it in child, which is called cool child, cool kids. And this was a multi-center, multinational randomized control trial, uh, which was funded by NIH. And they needed to terminate the 
uh, research in the mill because they didn't see any benefit. So, you know, they didn't want to continue. So, CBA head entity. And uh, Bobby Jared Koma and CBA head entity, there is two independent authors who reviewed to reduce their crop disaggregate. So, what in the internet? The funny thing is, you can prove or disprove anything. You know, I just type, Osama bin Laden is a heaven. See any country in the world which is so strictly in a product. But you can see he's wearing helmet, but this young man is not wearing helmet. So the you know, bike riders accident is pretty high. So we need to start legal legislation on that again, which was there at one time, but when Maoris came, they thought that you know the bike riders are the one who shoots and run away. So they asked them to take off the helmet. What's happening? This is an AVM which is you know which you can operate or you can embolize with PVA. And PVA in one shot is about three hundred dollars. But the particle that you buy is nothing but a mark. It is the same chemical stock so that you can buy one in one dollar shape and it is the same thing. But by the time it becomes your know, medical gadget comes to your table, it becomes three hundred dollars. So there is a lot of middleman income in medicine that we have to be aware of, especially the young generation. The body, as we all know, it comes from a jacket that we wear. It's the same thing that you use for Durham. And, uh, you know, this, this 3 not 3 steels, if you buy in the supermarket, it's uh, a <coughs> rupees, but if, you, if it is a medical package, then it comes 10,000 rupees. Why? It's the same thing. Now, plasma knife is one of the one of the very, very good tools that has come up, but this is nothing but, you know, the carpenters are using. And this is a cheap device. You can buy it in supermarket. And now they cannot make any money out of this, so you know what they did? They put some kind of chips in the head. So once you put a new chip, new head, it will only work for 24 hours. And the chip was 1500 dollars. So this is all made, you know, middleman. Now this is, I have got millions of examples like this. This is the same company which was making a drill, you know, 20 years back. And you can use, very beautiful, no rusting, you can use it for months. But now they have come up with the same company, it should be better, but they have come up with a device which will rust in one day. So they have added something so that it will rust, so that you throw it away and then you will buy it. So, we also have a lot of fire in the weeks, um, just to cut short, and then we have this uh, sort of uh, kite flying on rooftops, and in fact he has got a railing, but most of them are flying, uh, kite flying without railings, and that is for them. To try and uh, educate people and to these flyers, uh, to explain to them that uh, they could prevent injuries big time from motorbikes or flying or uh, uh, seminars uh, for, for the people and walks and actually um, it helped us a lot. Uh, the laws were enacted for helmets and for seat bags. Um, I agree that they have to be laws but you have to also have this public awareness campaign to make them understand that it is for their own good. Uh, also, a large number of uh, colleges, schools started doing programs where they would go and teach young children in schools uh, about prevention and how to cross roads, etc. So it was doing fine. People had stopped hearing and filing. There was serious tough laws on that, etc. Uh, so there was some sort of uh, balance coming around until, unfortunately, uh, the war on terror started and it spilled over into Pakistan. Uh, that became a very big problem for us uh, and we literally, uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't know what to do, especially with these sort of uh, people with suicide bomb last. Uh, so this was the first continental Lone Star Hotel in Peshawar, uh, which Peter Riley uh, stayed in, but obviously before this. <laughs> We had a large number of blasts starting from 2008. Luckily, if you see, uh, uh, this year we have been very lucky. Uh, they have come down and we were only one uh, 
suicide attack uh, that very near to our hospital. The people injured uh, or died numbers, but again, luckily, voluntary ambulances, AV ambulance for a while, we had civil defense. Nobody had any idea they were voluntary, volunteers trying to take the patients to different places. We had some private ambulances. Uh, we didn't know how at all to be transferred patients. Uh, no idea of triaging. So what happened was that uh, a lot of dead people were brought into the hospital. Uh, while they were, uh, were left alone, uh, their own devices trying to uh, get help for themselves. So we had to sit down and discuss what to do. Um, and we had a number of meetings and we discussed uh, because we felt that driving, transport were a very big problem. Uh, and, and transport, not only transport, but right going from the scene of the accident right to the end uh, for the final treatment guidelines. So we started developing obviously with the government's help and with the help of uh, neurosurgeons and trauma surgeons to develop ambulance services to train uh, the crew uh, in transferring patients, also to train the crew in triaging the patients and to see that they are transferred properly with a spine board and to make sure the surviving spine uh, we now have a large number of ambulances, double one, double two, as they call them, uh, with oxygen, uh, with airway help, uh, with monitors, and we have trained the paramedics. Uh, we continue to train them uh, in, in this field. We still obviously are a long way away from uh, developed countries. And, and, uh, of course, again, as I say, a lot needs to be done on this issue also, but we, we continue to try. We started uh, giving little sheets of paper to patients' relatives so that, uh, again, this was something uh, to over there to explain to them that if something goes wrong with the patients, vomiting, etc., that they can immediately. Slowly, we are developing uh, new trauma care in Pakistan, especially in Russia. Thank you. For it here, and, and we are just a little tiny bit adopt. In southern China, this is my hospital up on hill. Downhill is my medical school, which belongs to the University of Hong Kong. Now, I started sort of preparing a talk like this because I'm sure you've seen many cases like this. Late at night, and you have a patient loaded, no comatose, did what you have to do. And this kind of story tends to repeat itself. And I very often ask myself, you know, I keep doing the same thing that my mentor taught me without having, without really changing the outcomes. And, and by definition, I was sort of bordering on that. And therefore, uh, I started sort of reading sort of continually about how, how things are being investigated, how things should be done. And concurrently, there are people who had a very sort of very optimistic negative view. <coughs> They look at not individual studies, but systematic studies, looking at the level of evidence, that the conclusion drawn have been coming. And, um, and that, I think, is a very negative and, and, and sort of pessimistic state. But if you look at studies that have been conducted over the last you know, few <coughs> decades, you can see that, indeed, the number of clinical trials has reached its peak in the late 1990s, that has progressively decreased. And I think it has, it has remained so, but I think in the last three, four, five years, we have seen more uh, clinical studies coming out, and I'm going to share with you uh, what they have shown. Currently, we base our treatment on Brain Trauma Foundation <coughs> in Hong Kong, and I'm sure a lot of you would do that too. And I, I won't repeat any of that because you can read it up in the 207 guidelines. Suffice to say that these are things that I believe would hold true. A level in evidence that is, we shouldn't use steroids. There is no role for prophylactic and convulsions. There is no role for prophylactic hyperventilation. Control ventilation, yes, but no prophylactic hyperventilation.
we may be glad that so that is something that stays with us. Now in the next 10 minutes or so I'm going to just walk through the journey that a patient will take when they come in and they go to suffocation and come to surgery and possibly neuroprotection. And my aim really is not to tell you definitive answers. I want to share with you my understanding of what's been going on. Um, and, and if you want to understand those studies, you really have to go back. People have started to look at something very simple, such as sedation. What kind of sedation drugs that we should give to our patients? So it's a matter of review of randomized control trial. Look at 13 of them. They compared different agents. They found that bolus opioids <coughs> tend to increase ICP and reduce cerebral perfusion. But mind you, that is bolus opioids. Infusion may be a different story. And more interestingly, contrary to what many anesthetists think, ketamine does not. What well, did not? And this is the first paper we collected and we analyzed 297 patients and our focus was in any facility at that time except for clinical examination and plain extra stuff. And under 14 mortality was 9%, overall mortality was 12.4%. I'm still not. So that was a, that was a wake up call, and we are doing the worst in terms of. And this was most of the studies were in the pre CTA, and you can see senior Juma, Rashi Juma's father, 14 percent. That was a long time ago, 1960-64. 79 were still having worse mortality. So this is the first ever documentation of it. Statistics in Nepal. And I think for the young generation of neurosurgeons, it will be interesting how we, what is our heritage. If you start from William McKeon, Mr. Robertson, on all the Glasgow crowd, and from Harvey Cushing, Walter Penfield, Jacob Chani, Robertson was trained in Montreal, and most of the Glasgow crowd was trained by Robertson. And then I was trained by all the second generation of neurosurgeons from all the four you know, arms. And Victor Oxley started neurosurgery in the National Hospital and it, carried, it was carried on there by some neurosurgeons. And that was the largest neurosurgical unit in 1983. Uh, Sam Galbraith, Peter Stafford, Sibarian Jenner, Gian Tijel, David Menor, all of them were working in TB, in Prince of Wales, and to very much into, you know, very much into injury management. So this is, these are our peers. So that was the neurology setup. So it was a unit where one could not just sit there and not learn anything. And one would just get infected and fascinated by the way they worked. I could replicate the same service. There was a single neurosurgical unit, single CT scanner for the whole of the country, that was in 1989. And the facilities included a dedicated trauma ward, uh, and then neurosurgical coverage around the globe, which I had to provide. That, that meant, you know, 365 days a year you have to be on board. I just need to tell that because for hereditary point of view, we are optimally equipped to the last, uh, you know, bit of care. Because the facilities are running through that. So this year, more from Glasgow, we didn't talk about neurological disorders. And the first brain cutting session for head injuries was done by none other than David Graham from Glasgow. The historic photograph. David Graham, professor of neuropathology from Glasgow, doing the first brain cutting session in Kathmandu. And I was assisting him. The patient was well anesthetized. So this is physiotherapy rehabilitation service. We have got skill lab, which the postgraduates occasionally use. Now, now what this centre has got a team of neurosurgeons, although the senior man, manpower is not as you would expect in the West, there are dedicated team of eight, seven or eight registrars who can do most of the emergency care, dedicated intensive care unit, operating theatre and radiology where you can do scans within minutes, and then we started protocol driven management, and most of the head injury management were based on ICP, CPP, as 
protocol. When six percent this time, slightly more because we were receiving more severe head injuries. They were automatically filtered and most of them came very late and then they had already had secondary brain damage. So this is the overall outcome at six months. So to summarize three era of head injury management in Nepal. When we first started to open 4% overall mortality, CT era, single CT scan, single why we are having so bad results in Look at that one. Only about 30% of patients with ATS category 1 and 2 came in ambulance. Nowhere in the world this year head injured patients will be traveling in uh, about 87 percent will be traveling in public transport to hospital. So we have a very poorly organized pre-hospital care in the country. That was the message. So this is the study we did. Average delay was 24 hours before they arrived to the neurosurgical center. Range from one, one hour to 150 hours. And most of the people visited many centers prior to coming to a designated center. And the centers visited were between one to four. <coughs> so we're not doing it. And see if service expansion has gone outside Kathmandu, and we're creating some local evidence base, and we're training neurosurgeons in the country. A lot of challenges ahead because of this. <coughs> so we need to have a multi pronged approach to tackle this problem, and we still have a lot of lot of distance to travel, as Robert Ford said, which is simply not affordable. To your question, Tariq, um, and um, when there is a confusion of the neurology, whether it's a tumor or a TB, then uh, intraoperatively, when you see pus coming, and when we close it and start the tumor process, now then they get. You could go on talking about this is also wrong. The one thing I like to tell to the young neurosurgeons is that if it is TB, it's fine. Even if the patient is paraplegic for over a month. Decompress, they are going to recover. This is in contrast to pyogenic spondylitis, where if the patient has been paraplegic for more than 48 hours, however, fantastic surgery you do, you put platinum, gold, or titanium implant, the patient is not going to walk. So that's one beautiful thing about TB. You decompress, even if it is, the patient is paraplegic for a month, he recovers. And at the time of surgery itself, you can say whether it's a TB or pyogenic. And as you know, TB heals by fibrosis. Pyogenic spondylitis heals by newborn formation. It's very sclerotic if it's non-tubercular. So TB is fine if you are operating. Don't cure it too much because you can remove the whole vertebra within five minutes. So you should, you should somewhere you would call the day there, okay, this, this part of the spine I'm going to retain and graft it. So we do classical Hong Kong surgery. So our Hong Kong neurosurgery people feel proud. The Hong Kong had an enormous tradition of, a fantastic tradition of having done radical surgery for TB spine. Anterior decompression and grafting followed by posterior instrumentation if the patient is recovered. Okay. Thank you very much. Other than the Saguru, Amile, Ayo, Oak Sapku, Sandar Bamaun, Weka, Neurosurgeon Dr. Sapur Sanga, Interaction Girakaka, Crystal Business and Lady John of Ayosa. Other than the Saguru, Ami, Crystal Television, Ma, Estaista Ishuru, Estaista Divas, Kuni, Bishi Bostumare Ramli. हम लोग स्वास्थ्य संबंधी प्रोग्राम बाइक पर नहीं किस्टल बिजनेस में पोस्ट उधर दे रखे कासों यहाँ ला थाने से हमें लेने रंतर रूप में यस ओक्सर माउंट भाई का न्यूरोसर्जन दर्शा प्रसंगा चल पड़े दे रखे कासों ये तीखे रूप में संग उन्होंने सा डॉक्टर किशन सरमा उन्होंने सा न्यूरोसर्जन उन्होंने सा � वहाँ संग यू गुस्ती में ही रहे रहे निवृत्त सर्जरी के बारे में छोट पकड़ते हैं जो जिस तरह वर्किंग सोचते हैं आराम से ठीक यात्रा का स्टोर है सर एक कार वाला आई ना ये वाली बात ये पेट्रोल को अभाव लगा रहा है गाड़ी को अंतिम सर रहा है माथी वाला ही माथी वाला ही गाड़ी वाला आप इसी में जाओगे सर दोस्तों निवृत्त सर्जरी को नेपाल को अवस्था किस हो बंदा बने आज आगे जून ओक्सर सौरा मगर देशों के गर्भ गर निखल को प्रोग्राम से अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर सो जो नेपाल ने कोर्टेशन करी है शामिल आज़ाद कर बगैर सुन चीज़ तो लेस को कोर्टेशन में बेने ग्रुप में और प्रोग्राम को ओवरऑल लिया था न्यूरो सर्जरी ट्रॉमा लाफ फोकस करी था पनी ओवरऑल इसलिए कतिपय कतिपय अवस्था में ऑर्थोपेडिक शास्त्र नॉलेज नहीं है जाके को मानव शरीर अपने सर्विस फैसिलिटी कर रखा है जी 
एक आपस में कम्बिनेसन होने जरूरी है किसी ना अच्छा एक नहीं था अब आ यो मुख्य कुरा बिरामी लाई कसरी से बेस्ट उपचार दिने बनने सेंटर पॉइंट रखे रा ये सेवा करता खेरी यो मिलेर गवर्नमेंट एकदम ही आवश्यक था जिस तो मोबाइल भी अस्पताल में काम करता खेरी घाटी को मले ढाल रा को ऑर्थोपेडिक डॉक्टर दारुले अनि शुरू में चाहे आमिले मिलेर पनी गवर्नम अब स्पेशलिस्ट को अवाब में रा धेरे पेशेंट दारु हों दाखेरी बिस्तारे सीख दाखेरी आमले योटा पर घाटी को योटा भाग को मले गवर्ने और और को ऑर्थोपेडिक डॉक्टर � डिविजन कर रहे हैं गौरिंग जा कि ना बने ये वाले किसी को सर्जरी बार बार कर दाखिल है तेज़ में एक्सपर्टीज़ रिजल्ट सब ये हम लोग उन्हें बात करना लें इसमें हमें पच्चीस साल मेडिकल सर्विस दिने कर दाखिल है पेशेंट केयर पेशेंट या सर्जरी वाले कर दाखिल है टीम ऑफ़ को करा दें आज देखने � प्राय जस्सो कुने पनी बिना मिले एक्सीडेंट होता है रे कुने उटा मतलब चोट लाया रा एकदम थोड़े पेशेंट ना होता है अन्य मतलब उटा पेशेंट लाये इसलिए एक्सीडेंट होता है दो तीन बार में चोट लाया कौन सा तेले कर दाखे रे हमरो चालन नहीं कुने पनी उटा डिपार्टमेंट में एडमिट बाय पनी वहाँ को चोट को प्रगति रा चोट को भाग अनुसार विभिन्न डिपार्टमेंट जैसे ऑटोपेडिक डिपार्टमेंट जनरल सर्जरी डिपार्टमेंट को स्पेशलिस्ट और को मदद सलाह कोई वाला कम्बाइन सर्जरी गरे रपनी उपचार गरीन चल रहे हैं सर कि नहीं संपूर्ण उपचार दिन आला एक डॉक्टर बड़ा स्पेशल बड़ा संभव साइन है अब फॉरेन कंट्री और को मेडिकल साइंस को डेवलपमेंट लाये अपने बने हैं अभी इनके इसको पची लाये रहा सम आज रात स्पेशल बड़ा बने स्पेसिफिक होने वाला सा तो भीतर को स्पेसिफिक ट्रेंड � यह देरे ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्विस लाये ऑर्थोपेडिक शेवला नेपाल मा परिचय कराने डेढ़ साल उन्हें तो अन्य संस्था मार्ग में पहुंचा तो इस अभी तो टीम में काम करते करता कि मलिया कंबिनेशन चीन को करा करना साहेब आज ये गोष्टी में अपनी के स्पाइनल सर्जरी को बारे में कराऊं कुछ तो स्पाइनल सर्जरी ऑर्थोपेडिक स अब यो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन न्यूरोसर्जन ले गौरव पनी पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन ले लेने गौरव ने बात करा तीले गौर दाखिले अन्य कई पेपर और उमार ले पनी प्रस्तुत कर देंगे उनसे ताकि जून स्पेशली जूनियर डॉक्टर जाले पार्टिसिपेट कर देंगे उनसे माले संपूर्ण ट्रॉमा को बारे में आचे इज्जत ना करने अथवा ऐसे वहाँ को हेल्प ना लेने बनने इगो आनी मैं कौशल में पनी होता है ना आप उले गर्दे गरे को चीज में आप वो निपुण बाइंस है तो रचाए अब ये उटा बिरामिला ही ये उड़े ही ठाउ में मते चोट लगने बने को प्राय जस्सू होता है ना तेरे करते इस तो वर्कशॉप में ये उड़ा कम्बाइन ओवरल बिरामि� गवर्नमेंट नहीं बनने को रहा था ही ये वाला एजुकेटिव प्रोग्राम हो जिसमें सभी डॉक्टर इवन ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन अलग पार्टिसिपेशन सा वहाँ पे पर ये ओक्सफोर्ड बाढ़ अपने एक रावण जाने सकते हैं और जान सकते हैं जान सकते हैं थैंक यू डर सब आई दिन बाद से प्रोग्राम सफल हो थैंक यू Building, so pretty pretty is. Uh, what is the trend, new trend in head injury? Has a uh, new traffic rule has uh, affected the incidence of uh, head injury and its outcome? Uh, these are the uh, few scans of. Uh, head injured patients. To introduce, head injury is a critical health problem worldwide, which has already been uh, I mean, uh, talked about by my previous uh, 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 previous sen seniors uh, colleagues. An annual incidence of 
uh, traumatic brain injury is 10 million worldwide and 1.24 million people die each year on the road. This is a retrospective study conducted from April to October 2014 and all trauma patients presenting to the casualty were recruited. These are the sources of data. So let's see the figure. There were 1,086 fall injuries, uh, being the uh, almost occupying half of the uh, patients, and uh, followed by road traffic accidents, about one quarter of total patients, and another quarter by physical assault. So the total trauma patients being 2,324. So what is the proportion of head injuries among these traumas, fall, RTA and assaults? And the patients in their uh, 20s and 30s were mostly affected. So how did we manage these patients? About 10% had surgical treatment and majority were treated conservatively. So what were the surgeries we did out of these patients? There are total 34 surgeries. Uh, majority had fracture elevation for depressed fractures, different skull fractures, uh, simple or compound. Followed by craniotomy in one third of patients, and about a quarter of patients had craniotomy. So let's see the results in these patients. So majority patients, you can see the long bar showing good recovery for this uh, emerging of new hospitals. And uh, they are now on the, uh, many of them are in the highways. So the patients uh, are quickly taken there and some resuscitation may be going on there. But we don't know the reality yet. Last question. Guru, Yadi Bela Maile, Yehi Ghosti Sangha Samandit K. Jigya Saru, Dr. Binod Bhatrai Sangha, राखने कोशिश कर रखे कुछ वहाँ यूं गेस्ट न्यूज़ सर्जन होने से हमारे एमसीएस भी निकलने वाले हैं निपल बाटे रिसर्च में स्वागत है धन्यवाद आज जो निशाब कोई उड़ा ओक सब से नहीं न्यूरोलॉजिकल ट्रॉमा के प्रोग्राम में लगा सरी बीएस बीएस में भाई रखे कुछ निपल का बीकास का कुरारू बीएस का कुरारू ह संभव तो हमले न्यूरो सर्जरी ला स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं और एस्टैब्लिश वहीं से कर चुके हैं। आज जो बिशेष वस्तु ले बनना खोजे करो न्यूरो सर्जरी नहीं हो जो हमले गरी रहा सों। डेफिनेटली आज जो यो जो नोक शॉप रहा है हमले गरी रखे को पूरा और एक आपस में मिल जाए। यो बनेगा क्यों बनेगा न्� तो यो इसको देरी वास्ट पंच है ना ये तो मैं भी बिस्तारी रूप में बुजुर्ग बुजुर्ग गायर होने से लाये तो ये भी ना वो जून कुरा रहा है मिले गौरी का सांव अथवा वहाँ जो बिस्तर के आउन बास हो वहाँ ले जी कुरा गौरन बास हो ये वन को एक्सचेंज करने वाला मौका हो और वहाँ ले क्या गौरन बास है तो आ अब हम लिख के लॉन्ग करने सकते हैं जिस तो ऑस्ट्रेलियन न्यूरोसर्जन हो ले आपने कुछ केसेस स्टडी त्यागो अब उस तक बारे में बनी रहने वाला है एशियन बाटा उन्हें न्यूरोसर्जन हो सीनियर होने से देरी सीनियर होने से वहाँ ले आपने देश को त्यागो रियलिटी को बारे में इसरी भाषा डे� कुने बनी ट्रॉमा में तीन तरीके का मैनेजमेंट होना चाहिए अगर प्री हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट होना चाहिए हॉस्पिटल आई पुनो बंदा गाड़ी का मैनेजमेंट 
एट इन हस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट एट पोस्ट जैसे अपरेशन गए पोस्ट अपरेट मैनेजमेंट होता अब यह कुछ हमी प्री हस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट में धेरे पसाइल छो कुछ वहाँ सीक्न सकते हमें जैसे अब भन अस्ट्रेलिया से देश में तो अब एम्बुलेंस एयर एम्बुलेंस भयरलिफ्ट इजीली कर सकता बिरामी है बिरामी को ब्रेन जी डैमेज हो प्रिवेन्ट कर सकता यह कुछ हम देश में पसिबल छे अथवा ट्रेन प्यारामेडिक्स भाई पारामेडिक्स जल्द एम्बुलेंस में जो चलाइ होता अथवा जो हेल्प हेल्प कर रहा होना ट्रेन छेन तो ट्रेनिंग भी एकदम इंपोर्टेंट कुछ हो यो ये अब पच्चीस समय बिरामी पच्चीस समय असर कर सकने एकदम इंपोर्टेंट कुछ हो गोष्ठी संगसंग हमें यह प्रोग्राम उत्पादन करते तब्लिक हम भिवर्स एडवाइस के जान सकता है अब यो गोष्ठी को रूप में हेद्दे तो क्योंकि यो तो गोष्ठी मेंी भर पार्टिसिपेट करम हो क्योंकि के कुछ हमीस लैकिंग अथवा कुछ कुछ हमीस छाइन तो हमें उन् सीक्न सकता हूँ जे कुछ हमें कर वास्तविकता उन् दर्शा यदि तेस में भी कमजोरी उन्नीर कमेंट बा फर्दर सीक्न सकता हस् धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू थैंक यू आदरणीय दर्शक हमें यहाँ लिशियन अस्ट्रेलिन रेपाल को नेपलिज सोसाइटी अफ न्यूरो सर्जन सर्जरी को आयोजना में भैरा गोष्ठी को बारे में हमें यहाँ एक्सप्लेन कर न्यूरो सर्जरी को डेवलपमेंट हमी कसरी अगड़ी बढ़ी रह विदेश में डेवलप र डेवलपिंग कंट्री में के रह एक आपस में देश में भग केस को कंपेरिजन भी है यहाँ रिसले में भारत न्यूरो सर्जरी अज बढ़ा कर सकने कुछ वहाँ पर हमें कई सिक फ्लो कर सकने संभावना देखी रखा छो हम यह प्रसंग में निरंतरता जोड़ रखे दर्शक this disaster more than 8700 people died and more than 200000 the people became homeless immediately after this uh, uh, shock i got a call from hospital that i had to run to the hospital My home usually is around 15 minutes far away from this hospital, but the, that day it took me about two hours to reach the hospital because of the these difficulties on the roads. And this is the first scene which I saw in the hospital. Dead bodies were brought compared to the mild or moderate other injuries. The number of dead injuries were more. Bir Hospital, which was established around 126 years back, which had a capacity of 530 beds. All the patients, they they started escaping from the building, thinking that this is the old building going to collapse at any time. Almost. And we had to evacuate the patient in front of the hospital. There is a big ground. We could transfer all the patients, all the visitors, to the safe center, except for the patients who were on the ventilator. It took us around eight to ten hours to evacuate all the all the patients. And uh, government, Nepal government, and the hospital administration, uh, they. they came to conclude that they started i mean this new trauma center which was actually built about a decade ago but was not functioning the, though this hospital is around 250 bedded but due to that disaster we could accommodate around 100 in patients this is new this is emergency in a new I mean, trauma center and the hospital administration had uh, given us authority to collect all the logistics which are needed for any treatment from from this all shops which were in front of the hospital majority of the dead patients were brought from this uh, fall tower which is very close to the hospital 
only 55 dead patients were from this place. So the same day, around uh, and all these victims, they came from very near the hospital area. And next day, from other district too, and after th three days of this outbreak, we had patients from all over, from every, everywhere in Nepal. This is the busy emergency. Paramedical services were excellent that time, I'll say. This is the only operating room. Actually, it was a, it is a minor room, but in, in, though in, in this trauma center, it was not functioning. We had to make it functioning. So 